Traveling back in time gives us another opportunity, Commander. President Dugan asked me to contact an old friend once we arrived. I hope you're sitting down. Well, Commander, <laughs> from what I understand, the future ain't what it used to be. Now, our job is to set it right. According to Executive Order 9066, which, uh, by the way, won't be written for another couple of months. You know, a man could blow a fuse getting his mind around this time travel stuff here. Anyway, the gist of this thing is that we're involved until the bitter end. We got a job to do, son. The lieutenant will fill you in. Commander, Yuri has taken control of Hollywood using mind control technology. He's begun to use the media to spread subliminal propaganda. Here's a sample with the subliminal mind control properties filtered out. We fight a lie or death and struggle against the powers of capitalism. Only complete faith in Yuri can protect you. Only total compliance will save the lives of you and your family. Empty your mind and submit to my will. The less you know, the better off you will be. I'm Yuri. Obey me. Field control. Stand by. Incoming transmission. Commander. Your MCV is in position near the Los Angeles International Airport. You should establish your own base before attempting to locate Yuri's forces. Sir, if you can secure the area around LAX and then get an engineer inside, we will have access to paratrooper reinforcements. Incoming transmission. Commander, the enemy is using a horrifying new technology. This is a grinder. These devices can break down anything, be it mechanical or organic. They're feeding these grinders with captive civilians, reducing them to raw materials used to fund their war efforts. Yuri's clones are not as powerful as the original, but their ability to control mines is a definite threat on the battle control online. Welcome back, Commander. So I guess these videos are poorly timed, considering the whole, um, capitalist thing. Incoming transmission. Sir! Yes, sir! Some of these Hollywood civilians are pretty tough characters, Commander. They might be able to help you. Construction complete. Building. Now I have to admit that this was one of those missions that truly messed with me as a kid. Uh, there's something I can't get my head wrapped around. And, yeah, no, seriously, this is why uh, the UI is different. I'm playing 800 by 600. There's no way around it. If I don't want the videos to basically crash my game or mess with the recordings, I have to play at the lowest resolution. The game, at least with the patch I've got on and all that, does support 1920 by 1080 so you can play in a very large format in the previous mission i have some footage that probably will never see the light of day but you could almost see a, a decent third or quarter of the map just with how expansive it was new construction options building now getting back to the mission at hand there's a few gimmicks uh, first off, there's an airport that we can capture if we want some easy reinforcements. It's not really worth it, and I kind of save it till the end. Um, I also had a lot of issues with this mission, so... Yeah, that's why it's a little long and there's going to be some speed up. Um, there's the grinders, which... Don't really um, get a proper explanation from the game. They mention how it deconstructs people into their basic... Uh, elements so you know if you have zinc and pewter or whatever else that could be in your body uh, somehow it grinds it down in game terms it's basically a way to recuperate money okay. 
Now, one thing I learned rather quickly, um, or at least, I guess two things, really. Uh, one, Yuri doesn't really do all that well against air units. There is a caveat for that, but we'll see the exception once once we get to it. Uh, secondly, Grand Cannons are a decent investment, and more so infantry. Lots of infantry. In fact, always get infantry. And the more infantry you can get, the more buildings you can garrison. And if you garrison buildings, you're basically good to go. Keep in mind, Yuri can't mind control people in buildings, and they can't mind control air units. So a nice little pack of Rocketeers generally does a good job, at least in these this first area. The caveat I mentioned is the fact that, well, sadly, Yuri does have Gatling Cannons, which are pretty rough. They're much more efficient than Flak Cannons or Flak Troopers, but they also have the Gatling Tank. As you might imagine, it's basically just a mobile platform for the Gatling Cannon. And everything that that entails. The Gatling Tank is very similar to the Gatling Cannon. It still has a speed up time, so you really don't want to face it once it gets actually to its uh, highest performance, we'll say. Repairing. Now, there are some special units around the map. They don't always have uh, common skins, so to speak. Some of them will have a more unique appearance. And basically just think of them as slightly more powerful GIs. They don't ever really stand out, which is a little unfortunate, but also makes sense because you wouldn't want them trivializing the mission themselves. Unit ready. Now, there's a couple of other issues with playing this. Um, it's really hard to determine, like as a new player, basically, to uh, replaying the campaign. Um, you, it gets tough figuring out exactly where the AI is going to come from. And uh, at a couple opportunities, the AI decided to attack me from a completely undefended side, which was particularly annoying. Now, for example, we get a Rambo-looking character there, who's really good against buildings, but not much against anything else. Sure, he's, he might be good against infantry, but again, they never, the units themselves never feel particularly tough. So they end up just being fun inclusions, but not something that you would necessarily want to spend your your time with. Unit ready. Sir, yes, sir. Double time. Sir, yes, sir. Unit ready. Now the other problem I, I typically have with this mission is we're going to get the addition of a new unit available to us. However, I hate it. I, I can never make full use of it. The Battle Fortress is a mobile, I guess, defensive platform. Um, think of the IFV, but if it was on steroids. In and of itself, it's, I guess, not a bad vehicle, but there's something about it that I just can never get my head around. I feel like it's not tough enough. And so, the entire idea with the Battle Fortress is that, well, as a, as a better IFV, you can have four units in it. 
and each of those four units can all shoot out, which makes it great if you have some uh, Guardian GIs and GIs in it, because they'll all basically concentrate fire and destroy targets. But the ever-present issue with it is that the because it can't take that much damage in return, as soon as you lose the Battle Fortress, you run into the problem of you have infantry and they're not very strong. Now I'm gonna make a critical error here, and that's giving that's having Chrono Legionnaires. And sure, in the last in the non-expanded game, it's they're great. How would you not like Chrono Legionnaires? They can teleport anywhere they want. As soon as they attack something, it's basically forfeit, and they can they're cool. What's not to like? The problem being that well, there's always more Yuris around. There's always more Yuris around. And surprisingly, uh, Chrono Legionnaire has not necessarily the same amount of range as a Yuri does. So don't build Chrono Legionnaires. I guess really if I have a complaint about Yuri's Revenge, it's that it kind of trivializes certain units a little too much in my opinion. There's honestly no real reason to have a Chrono Legionnaire. Unless I miss something where a Chrono Legionnaire can get into a Battle Fortress, which I guess would make that even better. Unit ready. Eh. Repairing. It's not really something to that I can celebrate. The same applies to the fact that, yes, we're given Navy SEALs, but at what point is a Navy SEAL going to be important to Structure. my ability to destroy the enemy base if Gatling cannons will absolutely trash them and they have Gatling tanks that will murder them and Yuri's that will convert them. I guess I shouldn't gripe about it for too long, but I hope you get the point in why I have a problem with how some of the changes in balance and what have you are sort of ne negatively affecting the, the game. For example, the Gatling ca uh, tank has the ability to outreach garrison buildings. So if units, if infantry are supposed to do well against them, they have to get out of the building get the Gatling tank to get closer to then reoccupy the building and then destroy the Gatling tank. It's a weird cat and mouse game and versus uh, an AI opponent you're not always gonna get away with that and you're gonna have losses so in any case, I'll try to keep my griping to a minimum, at least for this video. Now, not having learned my lesson, I figured well, I'll try another go at it. After all, if I can sneak some Chrono, Chrono Legionnaires, maybe destroy the side base, I'll have enough to take certain things out. Well, a couple Gatling tanks and a Yuri, that's all you really need to trash that plan. Being green unseen. Chronosphere Creeping ready. Ahead. Select target. Chronosphere oh. ready. Warning. Chronosphere. Active. And I. Chrono shifted the wrong Yuri. See me soon. Now, while the game might trivialize, or while I may feel that Yuri's Revenge trivializes a couple units, one thing that it does not, and probably makes, well, one unit doesn't, and another unit feels more important. The more important unit now feels to me like the Mirage Tank. Mirage Tanks were never great against tanks, or at least not in, in my experience. But they're very good against infantry, and they happen to outrange Yuri's. So, 
two and two together, you're gonna have some stellar performance out of these. The other tank that remains unaffected is the prism tank. You can probably figure out why. Sneak attack. One more for the lancer. Unit promoted. See me? Soon you won't. Going mobile. Natural sanctuary. Look natural. Also, after having played with Mirage tanks more, I have to say I quite enjoy them. Perfect height. They probably have some of the better lines in this game. Yuri won't be using civilians to fund his war machine any longer. Maybe they'll make a movie about you after all this is over. New mission objective Once received. Lay in low. Now, sadly, even though we've destroyed uh, Yuri's secondary means of income, I don't know if I would call it the primary, but even though we've done that, we still don't quite have enough to, one, take out his base, or two, affect the production overall that he has. And considering the map, how much of it is controlled by Yuri still, and so on, it gets a little hard to um, claim other sources of, of income for yourself. There's also another annoying bit that I really dislike uh, with regards to the Nighthawk transport, and it's just a, a matter of fact with uh, an engine such as this and a game as old as this is, which is that uh, Night Watch Transport or Night Watch Hawk loves to land after it accomplishes its goal. So while I had a really good idea to have a Night Hawk just go around and destroy buildings at its own leisure, uh, it landed at some point and was destroyed by a couple of initiates, so that was cool, I guess. Also, um, keep in mind that having captured the airport, LAX, um, you can build next to it and don't be a dummy like me and actually just like, yes, build stuff next to it. That's how you protect it and keep those free reinforcements. Now I have to say, for as awesome as prison tanks are, they do have one slight deficiency, which is, well, they take forever to reload. So make sure you target Yuri's first, because if you don't, um, might have some problems with that. We'll probably see it better in a later video, but. It should be mentioned that Yuri's prime method of income is actually slavery. There's, you'll notice that there's a bunch of people with shovels that just go around and get ore and shovel it into a giant... I don't even know what it's called. It's like a self-contained refinery, really. We'll see it more and more in action as things goes on, but it should be pointed out that by destroying one of the... Um, refineries, you liberate all of the uh, slaves. So you can either think of them as cheap cannon fodder or um, unfortunate uh, casualties of war. Pilot reporting. Instruments Unit locked ready. on. Mean, green, and unseen. On the prowl. Mean, green, Nobody here unseen. Nobody here but a sea. Going mobile. The trees are lovely. Nobody here but a sea. Seeing the trees are lovely. Natural, natural, natural sanctuary. Selecting a target. Yeah, I couldn't really decide what angle I wanted specifically because, well, you can only transport oh so many units in one chrono shift. Unit lost. Which means I've got like three Mirage tanks that, yeah, they're just stuck. Want some shade? Unit lost. Order. Structure garrison. Channel clear. Instruments locked off. Natural sanctuary. Creeping ahead. Unit in love. Want some shade? 
Now, I keep thinking that G is going to put him in guard mode, and I don't feel like it does. So, I have to, like, re-double check my shortcuts at some point, so I do it properly. Sadly, it, I don't think it'll be during the Alphead campaign. So, for those of you who actually never played this game, um, raise your hand if you thought that Carville was going to come back. Pretty neat that they brought him back. I thoroughly enjoy his presence every time I see him. You're ready. Warning, chronosphere activated. Prism sensor stable. New coordinates plotted. Panels John. Intensify the trajectory. Securely adjusting the stabilizer. New coordinates processed. Yeah, every time I hear a Yuri come or take over one of my units, it's like immediate panic mode for targeting him down. Now, thankfully, we are going to see a very useful trigger that I lament and I wish was included in just about every mission. Oh, and the oil derricks on the coast, you can capture them, but Yuri has a tendency to actually go and recapture them, and it's a little hard to control that far out when you don't have defensive structures next to it. Or that when you send like a engineer to go take it, and next thing you know, Yuri's captured your engineer. And then throws it back at you as a taunt. Unit promoted. Or minor. <laughs> People are being mind controlled and I'm losing it. Where is it happening at? Why is it happening? Structure garrison. Sure. Now, I don't recall ever ever trying it. I don't think that the slaves can be employed in Allied or Soviet use, but I'd have to double check that in, in a later video. Unit promoted. Structure garrison. And it turns out that there's a Yuri somewhere here, so. Positional data received. Building. Then the shifters in working condition. Now, unfortunately, it feels like I'm going to have to go through a lot more to get through this mission. But for whatever unknown reason, I don't know what specifically triggers it. The AI just sells all the stuff, and I win automatically. After all, I only had to destroy the buildings. Not the units. <laughs> <laughs>